Which of the following is the most ap appropriate diagnosis for this patient? Schizophreniform, brief psychotic disorder, schizophrenia, bipolar disorder with psychotic features, or major depressive disorder with psychotic features. A 24-year-old man presents with, to, to the psychiatric clinic with a six-month history of social withdrawal, auditory hallucinations, and paranoid delusions. He reports hearing voices telling him that there are people plotting against him. His family reports that he often appears disorganized and has complete, difficulty completing daily tasks. Which of the following is the most appropriate diagnosis for this patient? Okay, my gut right now just says schizophrenia. Okay. Um, I believe schizophreniform is for years. I could be wrong about that. Um, it's not bipolar disorder or major depressive. He shows no signs of that. Um, brief psychotic disorder is less than a month of symptoms, and so that is not in. And um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with schizophrenia, but I'm not sure. Good. Bingo. So let's talk about it. So um, your timelines are almost correct. Okay. So um, I'm going to kind of draw it here, right? Less than one month, one to six months, and then six months or greater. Okay. Um, I'm going to not write out everything because my handwriting is garbage, as you already know. <laughs> um, but so one month is going to be brief, right? That makes sense, right? If it's brief, yes. right? One to six months is actually schizophrenia form. Oh, Maybe wow. Six months or greater is schizophrenia. So. so because it already hit the six months, boom, like it's schizophrenia. Yep. Six months, right? So that's going to be kind of your cutoff time. So um, anything kind of in between that. And of course, right, um, I would say that on the test, I haven't seen them actually use six months because they're usually a lot nicer, right? They're going to pick something like three months or nine months or two weeks, right? Usually they don't put it on the cusp. This is uh, I would say a semi unfair question, of course, you know, but, um, but that's going to be kind of your timelines. So, okay. Okay. But good job. Yeah. Thank but you. that, you know, on a test taking strategy standpoint, you weren't sure, but you kept it right. You didn't change it. Right. And that's something that I kind of preach a lot is that if you're not a hundred percent sure, you got to go with your gut. You cannot change it. So.